Hey guys, welcome to Ending Colts Productions and basically today I want to talk to you guys about the EMMC um, problem on the Samsung devices. Now, uh, a couple of uh, weeks back I got the Samsung Galaxy Note and um, I'm usually a person who likes flashing new stuff onto my phone and so um, I knew uh, that there was this bug going around on Samsung phones on um, Exynos uh, 4210 based uh, phones uh, especially the Galaxy uh, line so I downloaded Chainfire's application to check whether this bug was on my phone and it did say danger and your your device is known to have this bug so um, I really didn't take much heat to, into this but I thought that I, I didn't really care basically and I went ahead and flashed uh, King Droids ROM v3 onto it and as far as the installation went everything went fine but as soon as I wiped it and cleared it uh, cleared the factory set it it uh, basically got stuck on the boot screen and I knew I had a problem and I knew something went wrong on my phone so since then I tried almost everything under the sun to get my phone back but and nothing seemed to work. I tried flashing the stock ROM, gingerbread as well as ICS uh, with Odin but it didn't work. It kept freezing up on factoryfs.img. Um, I tried using Clockwood mod, mod recovery but um, it, I, I couldn't access it. Um, the only thing I could access is download mode and I tried resetting the binary count and wiping and flashing a new bootloader onto it and basically that's when my phone just got bricked and nothing worked on it not even the boot screen and I could now not even go into the download mode so uh, what I did was I knew I had no hope left so I contacted Samsung and they said that if you've done this I called them up basically and they said if you flash anything onto it uh, you have no warranty and we can't do anything so uh, what I did was just um, so what I did was um, I personally went to the Samsung service center in my place and I went and I, I didn't tell them that I flashed something on it I told them that I factory reset my phone uh, since I got it just a couple of weeks back um, I still had warranty I had the warranty card and the invoice so I went with that and I told them that I got it a couple of weeks back and I just did a factory reset and basically it's not working now so they said they'll have a look at it but I was still not sure whether they would charge me for it uh, they told me to leave my phone and they would inspect it and then they would get back to me uh, sometime soon so later that evening um, I got a call and they said yes we'll fix it for you free of charge and I was really shocked I was still not sure I was um, still thinking that uh, they would they were going to charge me but they called me and they said it's okay we'll fix it for you um, so and here today I have gotten it back this was the complaint that I filed uh, and they have given me back my Galaxy Note today and whether they have replaced it with a new one or whether they have fixed the my uh, original uh, phone and that's still to be checked so let me just go ahead and check it out okay it looks like um, they have fixed it I think yeah here it is my Galaxy Note they've packed it up nicely as well so I'll just show you this is how it is they've given me it uh, and here I think they put the label or something I don't know what it is um, repair label or something so let me just go ahead and open it up and show you and yeah I, this is my original phone since it has a screen protector on still so it looks like they have managed to repair it and for all those guys who are wondering if uh, super bricks can be repaired um, they, it looks like Samsung have done it on my phone free of charge uh, so let's let's just see and let me just go ahead and open up the battery and the battery too has this repair sticker I don't know what it is but they put some stickers all over the phone and here's my battery 
So let me just go ahead and put it in my phone. Um, so uh, here is my battery in my phone and let's see if it powers on. Yep, it is powering on. Looks like Samsung have managed to fix it, so I'm really thankful for Samsung uh, for doing so, and it's working fine, I think. Um, so Samsung have fixed it, so Superbox are fixable, and for me it was free of charge, but um, I, this does not mean that uh, I would say it's okay to flash. I'll definitely be careful in the future not to flash anything if it does say I have a problem with my device. So all those people who have Samsung phones and who bought it recently, uh, just download Chainfire's application to check whether your um, device uh, has this bug. If it does, you might want to stay away from flashing anything on it. So uh, thank, thank you Samsung for fixing my phone free of charge and all those users who have Samsung phones just be careful not to flash anything until you're 100% sure Samsung has come up with a fix for this. Thanks guys for watching this is ending call. Peace out.